Hi everyone, this is an updated video to demonstrate the features and the use of the Analog Studio Hasselblad Instax Square Bag. As the name says, it's a film bag that takes Instax Square film, Fuji Instax Square film, and you attach it to your Hasselblad Series 500, Series 5. Bags, most manual cameras and Unfortunately, not yet DLMs for now, but most of 500C, CM, C, X, whatever they call. Anyway, so that's how it looks like. And I'm gonna open it up and show you how it works. So it has an on off button. This is a new feature. I replaced the prototype on off button that I have on photographed on the website. So the eject button, press it once and you eject is automatic. Have the thin counter. Right here, he starts at uh, 10, and goes down and get to zero your hour film. There's 10 pictures per frame. Has a dark slide and this is inscribed with the serial number of the unit. This is unit number two, production unit number two. So let's open this up. Dark slide. You can see you open the dark slide, you're gonna see a glass surface here. This is now glass, it's a fiber optic plate. It's very sensitive and anything that focuses on this is gonna transfer to the other side of the fiber optic plate. So if you see dust on this, gently blow it. And I wouldn't use a brush. Anyway, if it gets dirty, I'll, you have to clean it carefully. This is an optical surface, right? And let's put this back. Insert it, because sometimes it gets stuck here, so I have to push it tight firmly. And it goes back in. Anyway, so let's open the back. What I have inside is a cartridge with use film I'm using this for testing. And also, um, I'm gonna demonstrate the way you take out the cartridge. When you take it out, don't tilt it, just can take it out perpendicularly. Just like that. And you're gonna see the film. When you insert a new cartridge, that's, you're not gonna see film here, you're gonna see the film dark slide, the little plastic dark slide. And then you can see the inside of the back, you see the fiber optic plate protruding. This is it's supposed to touch the surface of the film gently and provide some amount of pressure on it. So it's constant. It also flattens the film because uh, the film in the cartridges here is never flat. It's there because of the chemical pocket. So, so and uh, the fiber optic plate is attached with friction. It's not glued in place. I want to avoid cracking, but it also makes it sensitive to jolt. And if it's jolted out of place, what you need to do is take a rubber gloves or paper towel and gently push it back in. And also, how would that manifest? Well, uh, your pictures would be blurry on one side, or you may not be able to eject because the film gets stuck in one of the edges here. So it's not good. So you want to avoid that as much as possible. So what I do, and this is a discovery I made, is that I usually keep, after I shoot a cartridge of film, after it's done, unless I want to replace it, I just keep it inside. And this provides enough pressure on the plate that it doesn't jolt during movement. So, right, so when you insert it, don't insert it like that, like you do in an Instax film, if you ever use an Instax square camera. Just kind of take it by this and attach it and probably put it in place. Right, so. right. And with this, Trial pack, I'm gonna demonstrate how it ejects. So first you turn on the button, and now it's ready to eject. As I said, this is a used film pack. It has actual pictures, just pictures inside. So that's now how it's gonna look when it comes out of your Instax scan. It takes about two minutes for a picture to develop. So let's put it down. 
Right, so what do we do now? Let's attach this to the Hasselt data. Let's turn it off. I would suggest you keep it off. This also prevents automatic uh, accidental ejects and you don't want to lose a film cartridge in the a film, a picture in your camera bag. And so just put it off and you see eject doesn't work, of course. And we'll keep all right, so let's put this aside for a second and let's rotate the back. Let's rotate the camera. Camera. This is the camera. Let's take out the film back. So the way it attaches to the camera back is the same way the film back attaches. However, the little locking mechanism instead of being on the top, it's right here. And it's spring driven, but sometimes it's a little tough. So once you push it in, see, once you push this, the little slots open on the top. So you attach this the way you attach anything back on So we gently rest these on the bottom hooks, make sure they're flush, once you get here, this should, at this point the hooks should go into a slot, and if you, I wouldn't push all the way, the way you can go through that, so now I'm going to use that side button, this guy. while pressing it and this should attach and then let it go and you, when you let it go make sure it goes back on the way if it doesn't pull like this to lock it there now it's, now it's attached all right and now let's uh, put a film cartridge inside this is the film cartridge Inspect square in cartridge. So, this is the little plastic dark slide. So, as we said, I'm going to insert this as perpendicular as we can. Okay, close this. Firmly, you want this to lock. And you'll see that the thumb says S to start. Once we eject the drug slide, it's going to show 10. That's 10 pictures left. So let's uh, check that. Let's try this on. And cross my fingers. Now let's take a picture. I'm gonna turn around and use this phone as a target. To be honest, I cheated a bit, it's kind of pre-focused, but I'm gonna pretend to focus a bit. The camera is off already. I'm focusing on the lenses on the phone. Not on the phone logo. And I'm shooting at 2.8. So the field of or the depth of the field depth is quite sharp. Right. So exposure. By the way, because of the light losses in the fiber optic plate, uh, I discovered that kind of like in medium light conditions like this and indoors with in a room with north facing windows and you have to rate this about 400 so, so it says 2.8 it 1045 I don't have that speed on my hassle blood so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep this open and kind of shoot at 130 of a second so this is kind of breaking the film. 
doing the wrong thing way. As I said, I do measure this before, so I'm kind of doing it. Right, so, of course, I don't forget to take the dark side out. But you know, and it has to be done. If you don't take dark side out, you can check. So, you can trigger the shot. So, slide this out. Know to self to design a dark slide holder for this. This side. Put the focus. Shoot. Cross the fingers. Everything is fine. And check. Yay! It worked. So I'm gonna leave this here for two minutes and actually kind of leave you alone because I have to go to the bathroom. I'm not kidding. Looks all right, all right. So let's sit down just a little closer. So I'm gonna get behind the camera and use the camera to zoom to make this a little bit. So I can focus on this. It looks sharp and. It's actually quite sharp. It's a uh, background of focus, of course. All right, so this is it. So ISO 320 sounds about right, actually. So indoors ISO 320, medium light. Yes, that's even really terrible. Look. So all right, so this is it. This was actually for the number one new pack. So now. It says 10, so that was actually for number 10, and there's 9 left. Anyway, so let's put it on a dark slide back. And this is going to mail today, actually, oh, together with the photo. Mm -hmm. So it's your number number 2, you know who you are, and this is your back. Right? So you can put it on here and uh, it works. I'm kind of very happy this happened. So yeah, it took a long time. Apologies for all the delays to my first four orders for order I mean, in October 2021 in November. So I'm getting out the door right now. But uh, it's a better product. So this was a major addition. I know it's ugly, but I cannot find any smaller switches for now. So, all right. Oh, goodbye, guys.